All right, folks, we're just trying to survive here. We're just in survival mode a little bit. But true love has a life hack that you all must know about. Oh, sorry, oh, hon. I... She's a little sick. Got a little head cold again. Little head cold. Bam. Have Boom. you ever seen that? I read that somewhere in a what, life it, hack. What is it? It's um, my Kleenex and my trash can. But you t you taped it together. Oh yeah, it's just two Kleenex boxes taped together because you know, unfortunately, I'm leaving like a trail of snotty, dirty Kleenexes around me. And then I remembered reading this in a book. It was actually called Life Hacks, and um, I'm sure it's all over the internet too. But anyway, it's just nicely just. <laughs> you just do your business, folks. Folks, this is reality. We we don't we don't fake it here. No, no, no I fake took this life with me to Trader Joe's. on the VLOG. What's that? I took this with me to Trader Joe's. Boom. I mean, Boom. I Hon and I can bit. carry it in oh, for you. Can you carry me in? Yeah. Oh, I need to carry her in. All right, guys. Continue with your day. Onward. You can thank us later. Hello, YouTube. All right. Just got done with my lunch. Quick run. And basically, it snowed about six inches in Denver yesterday. Not that much snow for Denver. It was the biggest storm of the year, which is kind of crazy. But I ran in these yesterday, the Solomon S-Lab XA Alpine Shoe. And then I, I ran in these today, the Solomon Speed Cross 4s. And basically, I wish, Solomon, that these guys would get married and have a kid. Because this shoe is amazing in the snow and the ice and slush. This shoe keeps my foot dry because the upper is absolutely epic but this guy's got the grip now I know there is a Solomon shoe that could rival what I'm thinking for the marriage and the children okay that is the shoe that I think they're going for but I'm just like man two great shoes they just need to get married and have a kid Just a, just a good Monday here, folks. Getting things done, you know. Post office, bank, all the errands you got to do every week. It's just part of life. It's actually kind of nice getting out of the house. The office is where I work in the house. So, it's nice to get out, get some fresh air, get things done. Oh, shade. is on folks the sun is setting finally okay if you're new and there's a lot of new subscribers recently over a hundred in the last couple days thank you basically I love seeking beauty and I specifically enjoy doing that through the camera through time lapses you, you of course I'm sure you know what a time lapse is but if you don't it's okay basically it's uh, you have an intravolometer is what it's called and it takes a photo every five seconds, eight seconds, over the course of a couple hours. So, then you import the photos after you take them into your computer, you splice them together using a beautiful editing software and it creates beauty. It creates the clouds moving and the colors appearing and it's just amazing. So, that's gonna appear on your screen here in a few seconds, but uh, today's a, just a normal day cruising here in Denver and uh, I just wanted to explain that this is a big part of the daily vlog is seeking beauty through the time lapses. That's why I say at the end of every single vlog, well almost every single vlog, seek beauty, literally work hard, love each other, but gotta seek beauty. All right, so the day marches on, love you all, just pounding ground in the office. Wait a minute. Did you see, see see an issue there? See an issue there?
going outside to uh, retrieve the camera. Hope you enjoyed that. All right, question of the day. YouTubers, especially vloggers or people that make regular videos about your life, um, how do you discern when to film and when not to film when people come over to your house? I am like 50-50. Sometimes I want to film everything and sometimes I just need a break and I just want to chill and hang out with friends that are coming over. So that's what happened tonight. I was like, I, at the beginning of the night, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to chill, relax. I'm not going to film all night. And um, so I didn't film anything, just chilled. And it was kind of nice, you know, to set the camera down for five hours and just chill. Anyway, that's the question of the day. How do you discern when to film and when not to film when friends come over? Um, anyway, I'd be curious to see, like, do you do it all the time? Maybe none? Maybe 50-50? What is it? All right. All right, just about to sit down. It is 8.59 p.m. Do the edit for tomorrow's vlog. If you are new, welcome. There's over 100 new people in the last two or three days. It's amazing. The small YouTuber army, go check that vlog out, is definitely showing up. Thank you. And because you're new, I just need to, need to explain a couple things real quick. Basically, I do a daily vlog. I've almost been making vlogs every single day for two years. So we're, I think we're around like 660. It's amazing, it's a blessing. But uh, in addition, it's well, as you know, for any other YouTuber out there, it's hard, it's tiring. But what gives me the fuel and the energy and the enthusiasm to keep going are your comments. That, I mean, that, that's it. I love interacting and getting to know you, getting to know your story, learning about who you are and like what you like to do and videos you like to make on the YouTube. So every week on Monday, I give a shout out to the best comment in the previous seven days. And if I remember, <laughs> I link to your channel down below in the uh, description. So today's comment of the week, this week's comment of the week goes out to Jamie. Jamie, thank you. Jamie has a great channel here on the YouTube. Go check it out, uh, upper right hand corner. And she, it was a short comment, but just a ton of support this week. So many people could have gotten a comment of the week, but Jamie just wrote a nice, concise comment. She said, your channel is awesome, exclamation point. I love your editing and thumbnails, sending many positive vibes. You deserve to be here. Whoa, Jamie, thank you so much. Everybody, go check out her channel. It's amazing, so love you all. So that is today's vlog, folks. Usually, the production quality of my vlogs is a little higher. I like to keep you all entertained and engaged the entire vlog. I don't like being bored. I like you guys to be really connected to what's happening on your screen. So, thank you for uh, bearing with me some days that I am unable to film, you know, as much as I'd like. All right, seek beauty, work hard, love each other. See you tomorrow. That's right, number 664.